Is Rochester safe? It's a question residents grapple with as the city continues its century-spanning transformation from country town into international medical destination. From a Minnesota Public Radio article back in 2011 to recent media coverage, the question is a recurring one. Why do residents here seem to perceive higher crime than the numbers might suggest? We think that Police Chief Roger Peterson was onto something when, earlier this month, he said that Rochester has a low tolerance for crime. As reported in the Post Bulletin on January 9th, Rochester Police saw a 22% drop in violent crime last year. The city's violent crime rate is 56% lower than the national average for similar cities, and the property crime rate is 32% lower. Our police officers, thanks in part to intelligence-led policing practices, are ahead of the national average when it comes to solving violent crimes. 55% are considered solved in Rochester, compared with 42% nationally. Between 2011 and 2016, Rochester police reported a 56% increase in solved cases. Facebook comments and kitchen table discussions frequently have a different tone, though. A 2016 survey by the National Research Center of Olmsted County residents is illuminating. Of 2,100 surveys mailed to Olmsted County residents, 723 were returned. Respondents reported feeling less safe from violent crime than the benchmark for feeling safe while using county parks and trails. Two weeks ago, we posted this question on Facebook and PostBulletin.com. Crime numbers are down, but how safe do you feel in Rochester? Of 114 respondents, 41 said very safe, 47 said somewhat safe, and 26 selected not safe at all. Could our collective low tolerance make crime seem more intense when it happens? Or is it because as our city changes, the type of crime that we encounter changes too? The increased use of guns in local violent crimes is certainly part of it, and the national context is important too. In the first 23 days of this year, our country has already seen 11 school shootings. Though the perception of increasingly violent crime in Rochester could be seen as a challenge to the department he runs, Chief Peterson insists that he would hate to see Rochester residents become complacent or for crime to become a mundane fact of life here. That's when reality would likely catch up with perceptions. Maybe Rochester residents' intolerance of crime isn't about being paranoid. Maybe it's what keeps us safe.